Hi everyone. Today we are going to discuss about detection and measurement of radioactivity. So radioactivity can be measured by four methods. First one cloud chamber method, second one giga muller method and third one ionization chamber method and the fourth one scintillation counter method. So these are the four methods available for the detection of radioactivity. So today we are going to discuss more about giga muller counter method and scintillation counter method. So giga muller is uh, counter method are dif different type. For example, thin walled glass counter, GM counter for liquids, GM counter for gases, etc. So this is a diagram for giga muller counter. So this consists of a cylindrical metal tube which serving as the cathode and a central wire inside the tube which serving as the anode. Then argon gas is filled in the tube at a reduced pressure of 0 0.1 atm. And then a potential difference of 1000 volt is applied across the two electrodes. The argon gas get ionized whenever any alpha or beta particles enters the tube through the mica window. The argon gas get ionized. The positively charged argon uh, ions that formed due to the ionization of the gas are attracted to the cathode and the negatively charged electrons which attracted to the anode. So thus an electrical pulse flows with the uh, electrodes, electrodes whenever any alpha or beta particles enters the tube. So the electrical pulses are counted in an automatic counter. The intensity of the radioactivity of any radioactive material can be found out by finding the number of pulses per minute. This is the working principle for Giga Muller counter method. So next is the applications of GM counter. It is used for the detection of alpha and beta particle to detect radioactive rock and minerals in the course of mineral prospecting or as a mineral collector to check for environmental levels of radioactivity for fire and police first responders to a analysis for making an initial determination of radiation risk. So these are the applications of GM counter. The next we are going to discuss about the different type of Giger Muller counter. So there are two type of Giger Muller counters. For example, end window type and pancake tube type. So these are some examples for GM counter. So end window type that is usually used for alpha particle, low energy beta particle and low energy x-rays. The usual form is a cylindrical end window tube. So this type has a window at one end covered in a thin material through which low penetrating radiation can easily pass. The other end houses the electrical connection to the anode. Then Next one is pancake tube type. So it is a variant of the end window tube which is most, uh, mostly des uh, designed for the use for beta and gamma radiations. So next one is scintillation counter. So scintillation counter consists of a screen usually zinc sulfide screen or sodium iodide crystal or thallium iodide then a radioactive material which mounted on the wire or a vial then eyepiece and a photo multiplier tube so scintillation means 
flash of light. So there are solid scintillation counters. For example, crystal based radiation heat crystal which releases visible photons and the photons amplified by photomultiplier tube which convert to electrical signal. Then zinc sulfide screen, good detection of alpha particles, rapid response time. Then third one, sodium iodide with thallium iodide that is good for the detection of gamma radiation. So these are the different type of solid scintillation counters. The next is the working principle for scintillation counter. So Rutherford, a scientist uh, that uh, who discovered the first scintillation counter and named as spintariscope for the detection and counting of alpha, beta and gamma radiations. These counters make use of fluorescent material for the detection of radiation. The radioactive substance mounted on the tip of the wire emit alpha, beta or gamma radiation. Each radiation strikes the zinc sulfide screen which produces scintillation or flash of light. And these flashes of light could be seen through the eyepiece. And these flashes produced per second can be countered to find out the intensity of radiation. By using this device, it is possible to count alpha particle from 50 to 200 per second. Then this one is an advanced type of scintillation counter that is well type scintillation counter. So here instead of zinc sulfide screen crystal of sodium iodide mixed with thallium iodide is used. Radioactive material which kept in a vial mount on the well cut in crystal. When the alpha particles strike the crystal of sodium iodide that produces flashes of light and these flashes send into photoelectric cells and this flash can be converted to electrical pulses which is countered by automatic counter. This is the working principle for well type scintillation counter. So in this ways we can find out the intensity of radiations alpha, beta and gamma radiations. Thank you.